Hello and welcome, everyone. I am Safwan, a scholar from the Academia, and I will serve as this debate's adjudicator. I swear to judge both parties with the utmost wisdom and impartiality. I will neither interfere with the proceedings nor demonstrate bias. I ask for both parties to stand. May the Dendro Archon also serve as a witness to this duel of wits. Since you so desperately demand an explanation, I will expound on the Academia's stance. Wishes for every Sumeru to be afforded opportunity to grow and cultivate them. Therefore, they all as quality and individual value. We have failed to identify these qualities. Going against the academia in pointless confrontations. If you had spent time reflecting, Improving the quality of your shows and enlightening your audience. Zubair Theater would not be today facing such a tragic fate. Aggressive from the get-go. He's really putting on the pressure. Can Nilu stand her ground? Calm down, Nilu. First, carefully analyze what he said. He said that we were shut down not because the Academia looks down on the arts but rather because our shows aren't up to their standards. However... In your eyes, our shows can't meet the Academia's expectations. Shouldn't it be the audience who decides if a show is intellectual or entertaining? Someone from the Academia judging that. Also, I believe that there is no such thing as a more enlightening performance. Art doesn't discriminate, and it appeals to all. Everyone has the right to appreciate art. Appreciation is but a primitive form of satisfaction. Guidance and enlightenment are necessary if we are to induce growth as well as the audience. This stance holds a higher standard and encourages the development of the arts. If all performances are simple-minded, require little effort to comprehend, and lack any impetus for the better of society, then the people will not be able to develop a great artistic understanding. Nurturing this understanding requires a long and arduous process, and guiding this process is the academia's true goal. He changed the topic without patting an eye. Good thing I'm prepared. If I remember correctly, what I should say here is... Someone at our theater has tried that before. He was a famed artist, but he recognized that very few people could connect with his works. I agree that art should be enlightening, but we can't pursue that goal by creating complicated works. A work can't tap into an audience's personal experiences or feelings then its contents may as well be a castle in the sky. What's the point of performing a show that its audience can't even follow? That would only be forcing people to watch something they don't like. You can only reach that conclusion from a place of ignorance. In that case, before passing judgment, you should first become a better dancer than me. You tell them, Nilu. Looks like he's backed himself into a corner. As the party holding the burden of proof, Sharif has failed to provide sufficient support for his judgment of the quality of Zubair Theater's programs. Likewise, the definition that Nilu put forth is but her personal opinion. Neither party is the victor for this particular point of contention. Additionally, I must request that both parties exercise greater control on their emotions. Keep it up, Nilu! You're doing great! In that case, I shall speak of more concrete matters. The essence of this issue is that you have violated the law, so you must now pay the price for your transgression. This course of action is also completely procedurally sound. 
We have already contacted Zubair Theater multiple times regarding the theater's repertoire. However, you have consciously ignored our warnings, or perhaps your compliance was purely superficial. Regardless, that failure has indirectly led to the present day's proceedings. That is indeed so, according to the laws decreed by the Academia. He started talking about procedural stuff, so I need to focus on... Mr. Zubair has already provided signed copies of all documentation related to our operations. Everything is perfectly filled out and valid. Although the theater's performances don't align with the Academia's requests, the law doesn't say that Zubair Theater can be demolished only because of that reason. Demolition notices need to be provided in writing and made available to the public. Otherwise, the theater can continue to operate as long as its license is valid. Failing to follow these rules makes your stance procedurally unsound. Yeah! Yeah! That's right! There are different ways to apply the rules. There is precedent for this. So long as this matter is discussed within the Academia, this course of action will come to pass. Looking at the past 27 cases of similar nature, 90% of them support Sharif's claim and position. However, the demolition process in those cases was only started after discussion at the Academia. In other words, premature notice of demolition is indeed a rash act. That's more than enough. We've proven that the order is unreasonable as it currently stands. <laughs> Cease your futile resistance. Milu's definitely won this point, right? You're right. Stay focused, Milu. Even if permission for demolition has... ...that your performances violated the Academia's policies on numerous occasions. Based on that fact, we can permanently revoke your right to perform in Sumeru. <gasps> Under the current system, it is indeed possible to immediately revoke Zubair Theater's performing rights. That's a thing? Rather than protecting Zubair Theater, I surmise that your true intention is to maintain your hold over your audience and their patronage as your source of income. Without them, Zubair Theater is nothing more than an empty building. And without its performances, the theater has nothing else of value. What you said isn't true at all. Uh, keep it cool, Milu. Right. I need to keep calm, but he... Just a little more. Zubair Theater isn't just a performance venue to us. Zubair Theater isn't simply a performance venue to us. It means more than that. It's been our home for a long time. Miss Raycar can't go on adventures anymore. But she has found a stable career and a new life at the theater. Her son, Sorin, has already passed his theater exam, and he'll soon be our newest member. Mr. Kasani found a new way to look at art. He decided to stay at the theater to watch us grow. Mr. Farhad and Mr. Hushong visit even when there isn't a show going on, and they always tell us lots of entertaining stories. Even Inaya wants to stay with us and she's starting to look forward to a new future. Zubair Theater exists for them, for every single one of us. Perhaps Zubair Theater has provided you with a multitude of positive emotions and experiences. However, you have misconstrued something, young miss. The interpersonal relationships you speak of were established upon normal theater operations. Sheikh Zubair operates the theater for his livelihood. His employees work for their wages, and the audience comes to enjoy performances. Relationships are merely a byproduct in this exchange of interests. They may be pleasant and captivating, but they can only ever be secondary. When scholars collaborate to solve difficult problems, we freely share our knowledge and resources with one another as if we were all kin. However, this collaboration ends after the results of our work are published. The reason is simple. We are scholars, and there are new projects that await our attention. 
He really doesn't think much of relationships. Paimon also thinks he did a lot of prep. He's been solid as a rock. Sharif's argument is currently the more persuasive of the two for this point of contention. The continuance of the interpersonal relationships Nilu spoke of remains hypothetical before the theater's demolition, whereas the situation that Sharif described has been well documented at the Academia. The Academia has made significant academic contributions, in no small part due to its researchers' efficiency and ability to mentalize. Oh no! What should we do? Things are going in the opposite direction! A setup? So Nilu's got him? Good. He said what he said. The next argument could decide this debate. But... Is this really the best thing to do? It might be too cruel to Inaya. She already agreed to this. She wants to win, no matter what. Me too. Mr. Sharif believes that interpersonal relationships are a byproduct of working towards a goal. Once that goal is achieved or abandoned, those relationships would have no more reason to continue. If someone has failed to live up to his expectations, fail to live up to your expectations and ran away from then she shouldn't be your daughter anymore. Right? Inaya... Sorry, Nilu. As expected, I should be the one to say it. You don't need to shoulder this responsibility for me. Uh, <laughs> if in your eyes... The purpose of my existence is to become your academic successor. Then that goal has ended in complete failure. By your logic, that means there is no more reason to sustain our relationship as father and daughter. Members of the audience who do not belong to either debate party, please speak with caution. Let her speak. What she does not say, Nilu will. No matter how many disagreements we've had, the truth is that you are still my father. You're so immersed in your own world that you can't understand why we come together for the sake of relationships. Yeah, don't look down on us. You can watch a dance anywhere, but there's only one Zubair Theater. I'm almost starting to feel sorry for this guy, what with the idiotic things he said. Order! Order! Members of the audience, do not interrupt debate proceedings! I confess that this is the final argument we had prepared. Disown me, and you will win the debate. But before that, Father, I have some final words to say. I've been doing some soul-searching. Not about whether I should have run away from home, but whether there was any point to my personal rebellion against you. I kept trying to earn your approval, but I only disappointed you over and over. The truth is, I ran away from home as a means to vent my recurring frustrations. That is to say... I was exerting pressure on you and hoping you'd give up on your lofty expectations. But by doing that, wasn't I just doing the same thing as you? Uh. <sighs> I won't force my expectations upon you anymore. At Zubair Theater, I have found the life I've always wanted. I will move on from my family troubles and strive towards my new goal. But if you dare to harm this place, then I will stand with my friends here and fight against you. This is not the time to space out, Sharif. The debate is still underway. You already consider them to be your friends. You should be asking us that question. <laughs> All those who come to the 
Bear Theater become <laughs> such puerile simplicity. A relief. Wait, what are you? Ah, uh, never mind. They. Does that mean we've won? You won. Lilo and Anaya, they likely won't have any more trouble with us. You could get who found respect for you. Uh, I really took. I don't ever want to do this again. Both. We round us. I feel a lot better. The more serene I'll feel, I could repeat what I did a second time. Do you? I see. You mean. There was a beautiful dancer. Myself. The god blessed her with such talent. But like opposite. She's born gift in hand. Beautiful thing this. In other words, any people endlessly begin a dance, blessings of everyone's. Hands. She was a perfect The same as we believe. Completely moved by what she had said. I in her stead. Before she retired. For as long as you live, never. There's the Even though she has already decided fighting with her mother, they never with each other. But it looked like he had a lot on his mind. He probably has a lot of things he wants to say. are more than welcome to <laughs> Next time you I'd like to introduce you to our newest member. She'll be dancing for from now on. So please, give Hey, not Stage! Oh, bye, Mom. Look when she starts dancing. Point there. But 
whole demolition thing was going overboard. He really could have banned Nilu and the others from dancing. Oh well, it's not like we can understand people like him think. Let's focus on the performance. Wait, look at the cat dragged in! Isn't that enough? Oh. I don't have much to do. I just. here to watch a performance. There is no need to trouble her. Well, I was for a time. There was a period. I used this opportunity to suggest that superiors temporarily duty. Otherwise, room we duty. Yes, I am temporarily unemployed. So I can afford under mad young lady's perseverance. Inaya would almost certainly mature in the presence of such a person. She managed to hit a weak spot of mine. Mine. I do not have the right to say that. Already here, so you might as well go see her. Uh, like father with their feelings. Yeah. She probably would have snuck away as well if I didn't drink. I'm not sure. A complete reconciliation is the best thing for them. Overnight. It's best if we continue to keep some distance now. But no matter where their hearts and bodies may be, they will always be family. All I wish for them is to be able to one day tap into the warmth of that body. Thankful to you for helping out with the fate. So, me, something. You like it? Uh, isn't this Zubair Theater? Whoa. <laughs> We've also never seen this complicated. Cassandra. Help of others. You doubtlessly will be back any Come back and watch you dance. You're welcome. And there's no need. Take it. This is a story of you and me. It's a tale that I'll never, ever forget. <laughs>